Hey everyone, I just wanted to touch base real quick. I've seen a lot of videos at the moment that have been talking about range, and especially range when it comes to the Tesla Model 3s. And I wanted to discuss that briefly because I think people are a little bit crazy about what the car is saying it can do, rated based on the battery capacity. So I wanted to run over what I think they should be looking at rather than looking at the weird calculation that the car is coming up with. Because frankly, I don't think it actually matters or counts to the actual real world range of the car. So if you look at the Chevy Bolt here, we're inside my Chevy Bolt 2019. We Bolt users don't really ever see that information. We don't look at it, we don't pay attention to it. Uh, it's just not something that we see day to day, right? We see a projected range. And I know that the Model 3s have projected range. So what I'm proposing is that all the Model 3 owners out there start looking at projected range. So for example, in my 2019 Bolt today with my current driving dynamics, the car thinks with 80% charge, which is what I charged it to, that I can get 258 miles of range in a normal, straight up average. So if people don't know how the Bolt works, the middle number that the 258 is a strict average based upon driving dynamics with small modifications based on weather. The min, again, is a direction that's possible. It's a guess at the moment because I'm not driving. And the top max is also a guess because, again, I'm not driving. They're within a certain range of expectation off of the straight, strict average. And that number in the middle has nothing to do with my average here. It just does absolutely nothing to affect this calculation. So what I think people should be doing, especially in Model 3 world, uh, you guys should definitely be looking at your projected because that's what people care about. We don't really care about the rated range or what the car thinks the battery capacity says it should do based upon EPA estimates. We care about day to day. I think most people do. Uh, they aren't gonna be worried about losing five miles or any effect of five miles based upon a computer's guess when the car is saying it's gonna do based on a projected range well over 350 miles. So in the case of the Chevy Bolt here, I can control my charging capacity. And if I go in here and go to charging, I can give you an estimate of what a full charge would be. So I'm going to target, target charge level. You can see here current rated range, what it thinks. Obviously the car apparently, you know, overcharged itself slightly from what it thinks, but it's really because it's just at a little over 80%. So it ticks up one more bar is what happens. So I go to away, which I always have set to max right now. It believes that if I fully charged the car, it would have an, an estimated range of 315 miles. I generally find that to be not entirely accurate, that I actually get more usually, but this is usually more accurate after you drive, if that makes any sense. So right now, I think there's this big craze to talk about what the actual uh, Tesla projected computer range is in the car. I don't think that is actually accurate or makes any sense to look at that um, because that can change with with temperature, with the actual state of charge slightly, or the computer's opinion, or you know when how warm is the battery or how cold is the battery. They can change that calculation. Obviously, it can affect your projected range too, but I feel like your projected range is what you're actually doing, and most people care about real world range. I don't think that 1% or 2% fluctuation in capacity is a, a significant thing. I think it can happen all the time. So anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this. Can you please throw your comments below? And if you have a moment to help out the channel, hit the subscribe button, the like, and the notification bell. Uh, again, this is more of a... I've watched a couple of videos where people are talking about it, trying to do all these tests. Um, even a local YouTuber to me here... Uh, did the test and found there were some games that I just want to get it clear like start showing us your projected range because we want to know what you're actually able to drive with your car not what the computer thinks the EPA estimate is based upon a formula that could always be a little off we want to know what you're actually doing so in my case after 3,500 miles I've got on my trip meter I'm averaging about 217 216 watt hours uh, per mile in Model 3 speak or 4.6 miles a kilowatt. What are you guys doing? Because I think you guys are getting solidly 350, 380 miles, probably in your day-to-day -day commutes, maybe better.
Um, I mean, if my Bolt, who's rated for 238 miles, is able to get 258 miles at 80%, you guys should be crushing it. So tell us all the great news about how far your car really goes. Not the weird news grabby stuff about it being a little off from the rated range. So again, click the like button, click subscribe, throw me a comment, smash the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the future.